Okay, now let's uh, have a, one small calculation problem based thing. Uh, here you see calculate head of a centrifugal pump vertical well depth 6000 feet. Okay, it is given 6000. Uh, then it is producing oil, oil uh, specific gravity is given 0 0.85 and flow rate of oil, Q oil also given 2000 BPD barrel per day, not T. Uh, the liquid level in the annulus is uh, at the pump, okay. So pump is here, so liquid level is also here, okay this area okay so pump is here liquid level also here tubing head pressure is 400 400 psi tubing size is given 2 and 3 eighth inch okay later i'll show a tubing chart how they're um, as taking the data so normally tubing size will be given by api american petroleum institute so that's why this is 2 and 3 eighth inch uh, so in, in the size will be like 2 and 3 8 inch, 2 by 2 by 2, 5 8 inch, 3 and half inch. So that way they will be specifying. Those are being inch. In, if you see the API chart, there will be centimeter, a millimeter also. And normally tubing size will be given by outer diameter. And you have to find inner diameter from the table. Okay. Uh, in many problems, I do not give data. So in, in that case, students should assume this is the outer diameter. And when you are calculating flow through the pipe, that means you have to take inner diameter, not outer diameter. Okay. So this is outer diameter. This is material. Okay. So OD given actually. Two, uh, two, three, eight. Okay. So inner diameter will be for this case one point nine nine inch. This is inch, okay, because wall some wall thickness is there, so you have to minus that wall thickness, then you can get inner uh, inner diameter. In API table, directly it will be given. But if you are calculating annular flow, casing, and tubing, in between some gap is there, circular donut shape shaped gap. So the gap flow, if you are calculating, then you have to take outer diameter tubing, inner diameter of casing, okay. So that thing you should not forget from which path it is uh, flowing and you have to use that dimension. If you are taking outer diameter and fluid is flowing inside, then your calculation will be wrong. Okay. For this case, let us uh, solve the problem. Head to overcome the well head pressure. Head to overcome the well head pressure. Well uh, head well head pressure h1 equals 2.31 this formula you have to use actually p power gamma so 2.31 into 400 well head pressure and gamma is given 0.85 okay so that is giving 1087 feet okay now you have to calculate h2 what is h2 h2 is hydrostatic pressure okay hydrostatic pressure h2 means 6000 feet already given and h3 h3 is uh, frictional loss So frictional loss uh, in this problem, actually you have to assume or you have to calculate. Uh, so friction loss uh, assume del HF equals 36 feet per uh, 1000 feet. Okay. So 36 into 6000 divided by 1000. So you can get this friction value from chart or you can calculate also if friction value is given. Okay. If friction if friction factor if you do not know then you can, cannot calculate so you will have to use the chart previous lecture i have shown that chart actually so this value is coming seven uh, two one six feet so total h now h1 plus h2 plus h3 equals it is coming seven three zero three feet so pump should work for this head okay 
now uh, you have seen your calculation for the formulation for your affinity law affinity law formula says like q will be proportional to n bhp power uh, n power q will be there and h n power square will be there now if i change my speed let's say 6 60 hertz to 50 hertz or 50 hertz to 60 hertz then what will be my flow rate what will be my bhp requirement what will be my head requirement so you can get approximately from this formula for example this formula is given uh, this problem is given okay bp best efficiency point of one stage or single stage uh, esp uh, you have to calculate flow rate is given oil flow rate 1200 barrel per day head 23 feet bhp also given and n given 60 hertz so when 60 hertz is given actually n will be 3500 for 60 hertz n should not be 3000 okay find this parameter at 50 hertz or a speed of 2917 okay so if you are calculating uh, 50 hertz okay so q2 equals q1 what is q1 q1 1200 okay n2 n2 value 50 n equals uh, what is uh, 2n pi n is given oh n is given already directly given n is given uh, n find the parameter of 650 hertz okay um so let's assume same amount of slip is there so n2 will be like 2900 and n1 n is given 3500 okay so you can get q2 direct, directly so similar way you can calculate bhp1 bh2 to bh bhp2 bhp1 h2 okay And here actually you can assume uh, same uh, speed drop, same speed drop is happening whether it is 50 hertz or 60 hertz, let's say 100 rpm. Okay, in, 30, uh, in 60 hertz, speed drop was 3600, ideally should be synchronous speed, but actual speed is 3500. But when you are using 50 hertz, actually ideal speed should be 3000. But because of speed drop, assume this is 2900. Okay. Now you can calculate uh, what are the, uh, this like this 1200 into 29 by 35. So this will be your BPD. This much of flow rate you can get. So similarly, you can calculate for BHP2 and H2. Okay. Uh, here one problem uh, it came get 2019 so the problem is this uh, an ESP delivers well fluid with 100% water cut 100% water cut means here indirectly we are saying there is no oil actually it is 100% water okay that means viscosity and density water density and water viscosity will be considered okay if you are changing water cut say 40% 60% 50 percent then your viscosity and density also will come into play but here we are assuming 100 percent water that means there is no uh, change in viscosity and density the impeller diameter is 0.1 meter okay and speed 3600 rpm so here it is assumed that there is no losses slip there is no slip in the motor okay 60 hertz uh, okay and uh, it is running as a synchronous speed the total head developed by sp is 300 meter okay so how many stages will be required to raise this one if the stage efficiency of sp uh, esp is given 60 percent very low efficiency is there but previously uh, this slb uh, website that their efficiency 73 percent but here 60 percent is assumed so this is uh, one idealized problem that's why this data is given the minimum number of stages required so how to do it here is a solution first calculate head equals zeta or eta whatever you say 
v square by 2g what is v v equals omega r what is omega 2n pi by 60 okay so 2 into n is given 3600 into pi uh, 2n pi divided by 60 so uh, now h so now what h h equals zeta 60 is you have to take this is 60 this value is 60 actually uh, so 0 0.6 v square means omega square r square divided by 2 into g g value already fixed actually 9.81 okay now 0 0.6 into omega omega value 2 into 3600 into pi divided by 60 square into r square r means 0 0.1 divided by 2 square divided by 2 into 9.81 so whole calculation will give 18.10 meter okay so you are getting head 18.10 per stage per stage okay per stage means like if i take one esp so my one stage is giving 18 meter two stage 18 plus 18 three stage 18 plus 18 18 plus 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 so you are doing uh, uh, plus 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 okay now minimum number of stages minimum uh, number of stages equals how much head uh, total it is developing it is writing 300 okay 300 is writing 300 developing but per stage how much it, it is giving head 18 so it is coming 27.6 means you have to take 28 stages why 28 stages because if you take 28.6 fluid will not be reached to the surface actually there will be some gap so take one stage more so 27.6 so you take 28 okay so one stage 18 36 54 90 so in that way if you add 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 you will get 300 stages okay so this was gate question so whenever this type of numerical question will be given there will be range uh, when computer will be, uh, will be feeding you number so computer will take the range within if your result is within certain range then it will be accepting as a correct if it is uh, going out of range then it will say it is wrong so how how to uh, put that number so here the so range can be given let's say 25 to 30 okay so if you are putting your result 26 also it will take actually but if range if you are giving data out of range let's say 24 or 40 then it will say is wrong so small variation will be accepted because in exam normally one range small range will be given to a computer you will, you will not be knowing that range because if you know then you will put directly right so you will not be knowing that date only computer will be knowing that so you put data computer will compare whether it is within that range or not if it is within that range then it will say okay correct you give the marks okay thrust in centrifugal bearing uh, centrifugal pump so centrifugal pump impeller when it is rotating is delivering fluid so it will have thrust also okay so in some cases the thrust uh, bearings will be supporting to to the centrifugal pump so that uh, the pump will not give excessive force to the shaft because shaft will be connected to your motor so if it is giving excessive force then that whole load will be transferred to the motor so you must have thrust bearing and it must have radial bearing also so that shaft should not get a radial load or radial vibration plus that vertical load you are giving pump impellers are connected on shaft diffuser not connected diffuser will have some gap okay so shaft will be connected to impeller only diffuser will be connected to your outer casing outer casing is fixed is not rotating or not moving so diffuser will be connected to outer casing impeller and shaft will be integrated part so it will be rotating impeller will also be rotating and if impeller is having extra load so this will be transferring to shaft actually okay so impeller should not get extra load if it is getting then you must have uh, thrust bearing so thrust bearing will hold the load of the shaft and impeller whatever load extra load is there so that load should not get transferred to your motor system okay 
So in PSH, this figure uh, actually I have shown in previous lecture also. Again, we will go through it. So uh, this uh, one I wrote on like uh, on article some time back, I think 2012 around on NPSH. So NPSH means net positive suction head. I said that company will be giving NPSH required. NPSH are or required or net positive suction head required. The manufacturing or sellers will tell you, okay, this much of NPSH will be required for your pump and you have to keep more than that. Okay, your NPS net positive suction head must be more than required. So, NPSHA are available. Okay, so NPSHA must be more than NPSHR. If you are do not having that much uh, head and it's becoming lower than NPSHR, then what will happen? Your pump will cavitate. Okay, how to ensure NPSH A is more than that? So, you have to check this formula. Surface pressure. So, surface pressure is here. Okay, uh, the fluid air pressure or some extra pressure you are having there. So, that pressure and positive head. Positive head means this one. Okay, impellus center is here and how much positive head you are giving. Okay, how much height? You, you are raising or you have any other mechanism to increase the head and piping losses when fluid will be coming from your tank to your pump so pipe will have certain friction if, let's say you take very narrow pipe a straw like you are drinking that uh, juice mother mango and a small straw you are putting before your impeller what will happen you will have lots of pressure loss when lots of pressure loss is there so your piping losses will come okay so you have certain pressure already and positive at and uh, your the tank height or water level height is higher okay and it is coming through pipe so pipe will have friction so actually what your actual pressure will be lower because of this friction and another is vapor pressure vapor pressure is actually is this temperature dependent why temperature dependent uh, like say water at Normal temperatures is uh, Chennai temperature 30 degree for 240 degree around approximately it will be. Uh, so, in, in that temperature, water on, from the ponds or rivers not uh, boiling. Okay. So, vapor pressure is not sufficient to create bubbles. But if you increase temperature at certain after certain temperature, bubbles will be created. Okay. 100 degree centigrade when it will be reaching at normal atmospheric pressure. So, bubbles will be getting created okay that means it is temperature dependent so internal vapor pressure will be increasing and after certain time it will create big bubbles and bubbles will be moving away from your water surface so what is happening uh, you are putting on a small straw actually instead of one inch of five inch pipe you are putting some small straw of mother mango now it is giving very much high so uh, pump is trying to suck the fluid but because of pressure drop it is not able to suck so it will create vapor bubbles at low pressure the water will be boiling actually if, if you create very low pressure let's say one closed vessel you take create very low pressure you syringe pump you remove the pressure air from the vessel then it will create very low pressure low pressure will create bubble actually at low pressure it will be creating bubbling okay and you increase temperature so at low pressure and higher temperature bubbling will be very fast okay so if you have higher temperature again your NPSH will be lower so whenever you are applying pump you have to see the temperature also you are having water and pump company has given some curve and some condition they have given but you did not say temperature to the pump company so finally when you are applying you will your pump will be cavitating because you did not consider the pump, uh, temperature okay so this all the parameter you have to consider and piping loss means it does not um, mean it is only the friction pressure drop it may be bend is there so your uh, some connections some sharp corners are there so all these things will give losses if you see the picture bend losses will be there or some uh, entry losses will be there uh, okay sharp corners bends fittings anything is there those will be giving losses but if it will be very good if you can make smooth pipe instead of sharp okay if i can make smooth pipe it will be better because it will it will give lesser amount of losses and tank connection also instead of this tank connection i can make tank connection like this 
okay it will give a smoother entry so fluid likes a smooth path they don't like like a path will be trade amida okay it must be a straight path so fluid will give less friction your end passage will be very good and you will give higher end passage required is here you have available here life is beautiful but you can create such a situation where end passage available is lower than your required so pump will be cavitating okay so a cavitation term i used so cavitation what is cavitation cavitation occurs because of npsh if you your npsh is very low bubble will be formed bubble will be explode first okay it will be created bubble then when pressure is increasing nearby impeller exit again bubble will be imploding or it will be collapsing actually when bubble created getting collapses that will create your whole cavitation it will be creating shock wave vibration mechanical damage failure of the pump and big noise also will come so you have to avoid anyhow the cavitation and of cavitation pump if you see if you google it so there will be lots of picture because of cavitation pump got completely eroded so that picture also you can get what is vapor pressure water at 100 degrees centigrade boils vapor pressure and temperature reaches boiling point at 100 degrees centigrade so vapor pressure also in, will increase with temperature the pressure at which liquid molecules leave the liquid that is called vapor pressure okay uh, and uh, when you are talking about cavitation so there will be one formula p minus pv divided by half rho v square okay cavitation number of cavitation parameter the ca uh, they are defined like this conventional characterize how close pressure in liquid flow is to the vapor pressure okay so if cavitation ca uh, less than 1.5 so cavitation may occur you see the units also so if you are mixing up unit then there will be problem so just uh, when you are calculating please look at the unit and convert accordingly 